Hi folks, it's Mike with GetMyTips.com and the odds are you have been searching for a pressure cooker fried chicken recipe. Maybe you want to do it like they do at Kentucky Fried Chicken where they use a chicken fryer to broast their chicken. Well, we've been working on a Kentucky Fried Chicken recipe and we thought, hey, we've got electric pressure cookers, let's give it a shot. And we're going to show you how that turned out right after this. Now before I begin talking about how our electric pressure cooker fried chicken turned out, I want to remind you that we are in the process of creating a video on Kentucky Fried Chicken at home and the results are just amazing. It's probably as close as you're going to get to Kentucky Fried Chicken at home. And we'll include a link to that video at the end of this video, so you might want to stick around and check. But also you might want to think about subscribing so we can notify you when that is finished and also we can notify you when we post new videos. Let's first talk about the difference between old style pressure cookers and modern day electric pressure cookers. The old style pressure cooker that you put on the cooktop had to vent and that's because the burner has the potential to put enough heat into it that if the gasket failed or if there was some other problem there could be a serious issue in the kitchen especially if you had oil in it. Well modern day electric pressure cookers do not vent they use less water when they're cooking. But if you try to cook fried chicken in an electric pressure cooker, you got a big problem. And that's because all the moisture that comes out of the chicken goes right back into the oil. And you wind up with a very ugly piece of chicken. Well, there you go, folks. The bottom line is you can't cook good fried chicken in an electric pressure cooker. But the good news is we did all the work for you, wasted all the money on oil and chicken, so you don't have to. And we plan on doing a lot of videos in the future on electric pressure cookers. So if you're thinking about getting one, and I highly recommend it, please use the affiliate link located in the video description below, and you can help support us and help us be successful. Thanks for watching. Now, before I begin talking about our Kentucky, I have often walked down the street before, but the pavement always stayed beneath my feet before. Oh, quit waving your arms. I'm going to get back to it.